Hello, this is Brian. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2022, and I'm here at Crest Ridge Ecological Reserve near the community of Crest and Harbison Canyon in the El Cajon area of San Diego County. Today, I kind of want to do an appreciation video or one of my ode videos, as I call them. Today, an ode to the Laurel Sumac, Malosma Lorena. Now, it's been three years since I've done the spotlight video on this, and I've been doing a lot of ode videos for other species of plants that I've already done spotlight videos on, and sometimes I like to just showcase them again without doing a formal spotlight video, which I've already done. So I think it's Laurel Sumac's turn this time to get the Ode video. I know I point these out a lot during my hiking videos. And there's a reason why. I just find them fantastic. And we got some very nice specimens here at Crest Ridge Ecological Reserve. Absolutely stunning specimens. Beautiful, upright, tall shrubs. And lots of them here. And just for review's sake, the Laurel Sumac is a native shrub, and it's in the Cashew slash, slash Sumac family, the Anacardiaceae. And it's only really found from Southern California, roughly around Santa Barbara County, down into Baja, California. And it's coast to coastal foothills sometimes approaching 4,000 feet in elevation. It's just a shrub I really enjoy seeing a lot on my hikes. And here at Crest Ridge, there are just some absolutely amazing specimens here. And most of these are re-sprouts re from the 2003 cedar fire that burnt this area to a crisp. But sometimes these Laurel Sumacs, which are usually medium to somewhat large shrubs, can get quite enormous when it comes to sh uh, talking about the size of shrubs. And I've always admired the, the upward folding leaves that kind of look like a taco shell. So sometimes you'd call this taco bush or taco tree. And it always has a really pungent pungent woodsy aroma that some people for some reason liken to apples, hence the name malosma, which is Greek for apple smell. Mal, apple, osma, for scent. So, let's just take some time to appreciate some very beautiful picturesque specimens that we have here. This is one of our quite common to very abundant large woody shrubs in the coastal sage scrub and lower elevation chaparral here in Southern California. Here's a quite decent sized specimen here. Some usually they'll have several small thin trunks but every now and then you'll get some with some really thick old growth trunks on them that are just spectacular. I've taken some I've taken a little bit of a hike up here and I was I was on this trail and followed it to where there's a, a small dip where there are a bunch of coast live oak trees and then I took a small trail to the left and it started taking me up this hill and there were tons of laurel sumacs there. Probably should have filmed that video over there because there were lots of really, really luscious, bushy laurel sumacs with lots of thin trunks sticking out of the ground. But if you're like me and you appreciate our California native plants, 
this is one plant that is spectacularly beautiful. One of the toughest plants I've ever come across. One of the toughest shrubs that can grow in near desert conditions, albeit it would not like the cold of uh, the really far interior desert areas, because the top of the plant, or the, the above ground tissues are not very hardy, and they frostbite and burn and frost burn easily. So they're not really a plant for the cold climates. However, plants that are top killed by frost and freeze will typically re-sprout from the roots. Well, see if I can find a few more beautiful laurel sumacs on my way out of this area. Just want to take some time to appreciate the beauty of our shrubs here. I'm thinking to myself that I should have probably done this video up up on there up on the hill there that's where there were there was a whole grove of them so just bear with me for some reason they're not as common over here I see some more up ahead. Right around this bend here. Thanks for being patient. <laughs> and there we have it. Malozma Lorena. Beautiful laurel sumac. Here at Crest Ridge Ecological Reserve. So there you have it. Nice beautiful specimens. up with another close-up. On the driest, most exposed sites, a lot of times they'll be small, humble size like this. But once you get them in deep, uh, deep in canyons, bottomlands, where the soil profile is very deep, these things can skyrocket to small tree size sometimes. But a great habitat plant for our native flora, our, la our native fauna, I should say. Native fauna. And it's just an all around pleasant plant, and it's supposed to be pretty amenable to cultivation. I have occasionally seen it in cultivation. I've seen it, uh, I remember the apartment building I grew up in San Diego when I was a kid had. Uh, laurel sumac or two along the side of the apartment building, so they are amenable to cultivation. Very drought hardy. So this is definitely something to consider if you're trying to grow some drought drought wise California natives. Laurel sumac will fit the bill very well. It is equally adaptable for growing on both north facing slopes and very dry south facing slopes. I've never tried germinating it. I do think it would be kind of, kind of, kind of tough, probably, but it would be a fun plant to grow. So there you have it, the laurel sumac. Got another small one up ahead. I do like to end these videos out with an image of the plant. 
But yeah, they're growing all over this hillside here, these taller shrubs here. A lot of them are laurel sumacs. So here we are. I'm gonna finish this one out. This beauty right here. What can I say? Watch my videos, you've probably seen me talk about these plants a lot. For some reason lately, the last several months, I've really been craving being around these. I just never get tired of my Lozma Lorena. Now, one note of caution. Some people with sensitive skin might get a rash after touching the sap of this plant. So if you have sensitive skin, I'd be careful. I've been lucky enough to be fine around it, but it is in the cashew family, so it does have strong sap. But for those who don't have any issues with that, just look at the beautiful architecture these shrubs have fine specimens of shrubs growing here in the coastal sage scrub and chaparral of beautiful Southern California. All over the place now. Laurel sumac. I hope videos like this entice you guys to get out and check these plants out and maybe even look to do research on cultivating them. I believe what I've read about Laurel Sumac is, uh, I don't know the whole bit, but I remember reading in a book about propagating California native plants, is that they recommend oven baking the seeds for a short period. I don't remember the temperature nor the amount of time, but I've read that oven baking the seeds might be a way. I would maybe try even soaking the seeds in water for a day or two, maybe to soften the seed coat before planting them out. But there you have it. There's very fast growing shrubs, especially after they've been cut back or re-sprouting. These shrubs are known to grow very fast very vigorously. So again, great plant for your for your garden. You can even get large enough for you to trim it like a tree. So you can, maybe you can even sit underneath it and enjoy the shade. So I'm going to wrap this up with a view of another couple more laurel sumacs to close us out. Thanks for watching. And I hope this gave you an appreciation for another one of our wonderful species of shrubs here in Southern California. Thanks for watching. And uh, check out some of my other ode videos. And be on the lookout for more. See you in the next one.